what's up guys welcome to the crypto savvy channel i am craig and we are gonna go over the bitcoin chart um we're gonna be looking at what we've been looking at for a while as a possible bear flag and we'll also take a look at the invalidation point of that ver that bear flag if it passes the invalidation point we'll talk about how high it could go at that point and we'll talk about how low it may be going if we do not invalidate the bear flag so stick around for the whole video to be a good video subscribe if you haven't already also don't forget to scroll down smash that thumbs up if you like the content i do appreciate it it helps the L youtube algorithm and leave your comment you can leave your comment on the video and i would appreciate it if you went to my um it's at crypto savvy one on twitter you'll see i posted this tweet with a 10k budget and you could only buy nfts which three nfts would you buy if you had ten thousand dollars that you had to spend on nfts um you will have a chance to win them there's a special announcement coming out so make sure you go to at crypto savvy one on twitter and reply with the three nfts you would buy only three with 10k all right let's get into it so the dxy we've been looking at this bull flag and the dxy with our two targets here first target being let me zoom in here a little bit actually three targets if we were to break the bottom and break this low over here at around 97.60 um the bearish target's going to be around that 95 96 and then if we look at the bullish target if we do break up from here we're going to be looking at somewhere around the 101 range and then if we look at this and that's just looking at it as a channel if we look at it as a bull flag from the break over here we put that up to the breakout area it's going to be around 102 um and we all know what happens if the DXY rises fast or rises this much here, Bitcoin will most likely go down. So that also matches up with the bear flag on Bitcoin that we're going to be taking a look at. Again, we'll take a look at the invalidation point also. Dow Jones, you guys know I've been talking about this. Um, every time we get a gap at the top like this, it usually flips bearish, uh, just like we did right here. And again, right here, we obviously we get a little uptrend before continuing down, uh, just like we did here and like we're doing here. Also, you can see we got higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action. That is hidden bearish divergence. That is a continuation of the trend. The trend is down for now. Uh, looking at the long-term chart, everybody wants to talk about the four-year cycles until it doesn't match their bullish narrative. Um, you were promised 100,000 last year, which didn't happen, but now they're promising it again this year. But if you'll notice, every four years, the top, this one was in 2014, or I'm sorry, 2013 in November. This top was 2017, four years later in December. This top was 2021, four years later in November, guys. I just, that is one reason I do believe it's the top. And I've also showed you guys this Elliott wave count here showing five waves, showing that it was one big bull run, not a bunch of little ones. They were just Elliott waves with corrections afterwards. The bear markets were correction. I do think this is going to be a longer correction. Um, Again, another way to look at it, the Amazon chart we've been talking about for a very long time. I went over this in many 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 videos actually my first video on it was december 2nd you can go back and check it out but if it was to follow this we would be looking at a bottom some point in 2023 maybe the middle or end of 2023 if it was to play out like this and as you'll notice here everybody talks about this being the first high well we did have that here not quite as high and again they're not going to play out exactly to the t by the candle this is a weekly chart this takes a long time to play out i still believe it is possible unless we get crazy high and go to new all-time highs which is a possibility i'm not saying it's not i'm just saying i think it's less likely uh, let's take a look at another thing. I believe where we're at, if this is playing out, is right around here. As you can see, we made a higher high up here, right there. And obviously, you can see what happened after that. But remember, in a bull market, everyone gets super bullish. Everyone was super bullish here. And the bear market started. Then you got a bull trap all the way up here. Everybody got super bullish. It dropped. Then it popped back up. Everyone got bullish. Everyone buys these little tops and smart money sells into them all the way down. That is how a bear market works. If this does play out, 
it's probably going to look like something like this. It does not have to go as low as the 3875. We've had other targets I've showed you around 6500. Um, there is also a bullish case that says we do go down to around 20, the mid to lower $20,000 range. And then that could be the bottom and then continue the moon shot that everybody believes is going on. And here is one of those. So right now we're looking at this. We did close above the weekly RSI above top. But if you look here, we did have a higher high in the RSI on the weekly. It is confirmed now a lower high here on the price section. That is hidden bearish divergence. This candle here, this doji, is a indecision candle. Uh, we'll see what happens. Nothing to say we can't pop up a little bit more before coming down. And we will talk about the invalidation point of the bear flag that we're going to talk about. Uh, but we've talked about anytime if we do break this 34 7 ish area, it's going to get very ugly for Bitcoin. I do see at least the lower to mid $20,000 range. And again, if you looked at this as one big um, correction and uh, we head up from there, this could be the bottom. I don't believe it's going to be, but there is a possibility to watch for. But I still think that we're going to see that lower to mid $20,000 range. And anyone that's watched this channel, knows i've had that target for a long time and i'll show you where here in a minute first i want to let you guys know prime xbt is by far the best exchange to trade on in my opinion they don't trade against you like these scammy exchanges that don't fill your orders i've heard a lot about uh bybit bitget and all that not filling orders so never had a problem with these guys no matter how big your trade is definitely check them out you can use my promo code savvy 50 that'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. Savvy25 will get you 25% off your fees. You can go to my page here, and there is a Prime XBT tutorial here. There's also a link down below to the exchange. But if you check that out, it shows you where to put the promo codes, how to use them, and also how to adjust your leverage, which is very simple. A lot of people think it's complicated. It's really not. If you watch this video, you'll get it. There's also some other... Uh, free tutorials in there just little short videos on some easy little strategies to help you especially if you're new it'll help out a lot using emas rsi things like that definitely check them out if you haven't now this is my daily chart that we've had forever at the break of this rising broadening wedge right here this was right at about 51.5, 51.8, right in that range. We had this measured move, which is the measured move of the falling wedge. Or, I'm sorry, the rising broadening wedge. The measured move gets us down to 23-ish. Um, I have many more charts that I've went over in previous videos. I just want to make this a quick video. Uh, but I do believe that that is still a very good possibility. That's where we're headed. Now, a lot of people were looking at this as a triangle. I also was, if you guys watched my video a couple weeks ago, I talked about if we broke this uh, $45,000 range, would be a good spot to belong to about $48,000, where I shorted $48,000. If you belong to the Discord, which there's also a link to that below, totally free, um, I had shorted at forty eight. dollars I got out at forty four five, dollars half of my position at 350%. I'm leaving the rest ride. So if it comes back up and it stops me out i'm still way up even though i would you know be losing the half in there but i would still be up 250 percent since i'm already up 350 percent. so um there's a lot more to trading than just putting in your buys and sells guys you need to learn how to use stops um ladder positions ladder in positions ladder out of positions there's a lot to to learn um and i do not suggest buying a course there's tons of free information on the internet most of the people selling courses probably bought a course off someone else lost all their money realized that it didn't work and they started a course to get their money back um be careful out there guys most of the people that are selling courses are selling courses because they can't make money trading anyways so if we did come back retest this triangle and this is bullish we would have to break the top here and that's going to be somewhere around the 48.5 ish area, 48.7. I'll I'll show you in the the four hour chart right after this what we're looking for. But if it was to break up out of this rising channel, if we're looking at it as it already broke out of the triangle, that measured move is going to be about 58,000. 
58,500 ish. So for those of you that want to be bullish, these are your bullish targets. Only if we break up out of this. Now, if we are to break up out of this and use the rising channel as the breakout, the measured move of that is around 60,700. So these are the highest points I see Bitcoin getting before continuing down if it breaks out of this channel. Until it breaks out of this channel, um, I think short is the best move. Um, unless we break up out of here, then you can long. Put your shorts down or your stops down below. Guys, a lot of trading is <clears throat> you're not going to win every trade, right? Keep your losses small and ride the winners. It's pretty simple. Um, once you get a strategy that works, you'll understand that. You're not going to be able to pay somebody for that strategy because, for one, nobody's um, nobody's financial situation is the same. Nobody's risk tolerance is the same. There, a lot goes into a strategy. And like I said, most of the people selling courses, if they were that good at trading, they wouldn't have to sell courses because if they could have as good of a win rate as they say they have, they wouldn't sell courses. They would just trade, right? Uh, common sense. So anyways... Uh, this is what I'm looking at. So if it does break down, we do have our targets down here. And we're going to take a look at it in the four hour. But let's let's look at it. If it was just the rising channel that broke, our target also goes to that 23, which is the target of the breakdown of the rising broadening wedge. And if it was a bear flag, and we measured the whole flagpole from up at the top here where it broke, bring that down to the bottom. That would get us to around 6,500, somewhere in that range. A lot of people laugh at those targets. What's funny to me is that people don't, don't understand markets can literally do anything. Um, I showed you in the dot-com bubble what happened. Everybody starting to think this is a bit-com bubble. But anyways, let's get into the next chart. This is the four hour. So looking at this as a possible A, B, C, D, E, which is also showing the bear flag. Now, again, a break of this, it's around 48.7 if it happens within the next day or two. Obviously, it goes up higher the longer it takes. So um, this is the breakout target of this rising channel. If that happens, like I said, I just gave you the bullish um, targets. Now, the next place I'm looking for this to continue down to is somewhere in this area. Um, if we Obviously, if we don't break up here. It's going to be around that 42.6. We'll probably get some sort of bounce there if it gets down there. Come back down, retest this a couple times. Once we get back below this, then I think we're headed down to these uh, higher 30s level. Now, a break of this um, gets us down to that target we just discussed into the mid to lower 20. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to check out my wife's webpage, anchorimage.com. Uh, she has a lot of cool stuff. There's a crypto section, pet section. She does this stuff all herself. It's quality stuff too, guys. It's not iron on garbage. Definitely check it out. It's another way to help support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to go to my Twitter and let me know which three NFTs you would buy if you had 10,000. Uh, you will have a chance to win those. Thanks, guys. I'm out.